When Bob Marley came to Aotearoa, he solidified his place in our nation's history. Through the Rasta Man vibes and Babylon blues, Uncle Bob has been there, gently in the background, loud on the front line with a message of unity. You must have had other welcomes from other uh, groups. Yeah, but not like this, you know. Right? Never one like this before. Tonight we'll find out the purpose. Saying, what is the purpose that we travel with all the while? The purpose why we came in the first place on earth. Saying, but like so, you, you give the, you give a message, right? So yeah, our you... message is a good vibration that all people must come together. And the only way we can come together is to have one agreement. No, the only agreement we can agree is the truth. Now the truth reveal that Isla Slas is God. Man not free, we not free, so the herb is not free to you understand? Cause once the herb free, then we have a free mind to think. And once we think, then we think about more than what a guy teaches you. We think further than what a guy teaches you. And that means you become a teacher for your own self. So maybe the teacher don't want a more teacher because when him know him want to teach people that them keep in line with him. Line of things how him have it. But I mean we are all are creators and God make man in dominion over all things. See? Uh, so herb is the healing of the nation. Uh, I think people are used to... Well, it's important for every race on earth to know its history and culture. and culture. It's like your roots. The deeper your roots go into the ground as a tree, the higher the tree can go and stronger the tree is. If you don't have any roots, the tree dies very quickly. Then, in April 1979, Bob Marley arrives in Auckland for a single concert on Easter Monday, proving that sometimes an act of revolution can be a man with a song bearing a message of unity and defiance, inspiring hope and determination, preaching peace, love and resistance to a crowd of 22,000. Yes, come along with <laughs> Yeah! So right now, it's like Tyrone said, one nation and one groove. It's a Rastaman vibration.